In today's video, I got all the mail from the $1,000 TCG player purchase. What's up guys, we're back with another TCG player $1,000 purchase video. I know it's March, so it's been it's been a couple months since we did this. I was waiting for them all to come in, then I kind of forgot to do the video. I just double checked and made sure everything seems to have arrived. So I think everything's here. I mean, it's been two months, so you'd hope so. Hopefully everything's in great condition, but it's TCG player. So, you know, it's a bunch of random sellers. It's likely it's not in great shape on some of them. Hopefully no stars this year on the back of our cards. But before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away a $50 TCG player gift card. Just like the video, be subscribed to our notifications. Let me know down below. Was this year a great investment or are we going to lose a lot of money or, or just something in between? Let me know. All of these were sent to my PO box, so it's not really a big deal, but I'm not trying to like dox any other people who sent these in, you know, maybe if their conditions suck, you know, I'm probably not going to like, I don't want to necessarily announce how terrible they were or whatever, but uh, P.O. Box. Yeah, so my P.O. Box is public. So if you guys want to send me anything, you guys can. Uh, I'm not going to necessarily show other people's address, though. So first we have. Uh, OK, here's our we'll keep this to the side if we need to figure out, you know, who I need to contact about a refund. Let's see. This looks like a Mirage of Nightmare secret rare, which I'm trying to remember why we got this. So this year, remember last year I let t I let Twitch chat pick this year. I picked everything unless they like donated uh, subs to Twitch. And some people did that and we got some, we have some meme purchases. If you guys missed the you guys, if you missed the, the purchase video, you can go watch that and just see what we got. Uh, but if not, you know, you guys can see that here. How do you open this thing? Do we get a play set? Oh, we got a play set of First Step Mirage of Nightmare from Legendary Collection Yugi's World. We're, we might as well check the condition. I think we got everything near mint. Uh, not, I think, well, not everything maybe, but these were supposed to be near mint, I think. So let's pull it out. Let's see what we got. The front looks good. The back looks super nice. That is definitely near mint. Great condition. So I remember what I did last year is like if they were in good condition, I said who it was from. If they were not in good condition, I think I didn't say who it was from. So, uh, yeah, uh, I think maybe we did say who the fiber jar seller was because that was kind of a nightmare. But <laughs> all right. So these look fantastic. This was from Batwat Game back bat walk bat walk gaming on tcg player so that looks like a really nice pickup those cards are super minty and i mean they only have to be near mint so they were even better than that all right great start um okay this one yeah, i think we got two from this seller so i think maybe uh let's see what was in here i don't remember what this one was i think this is one of the meme purchases it is okay all right nekagal number one so tp6 this is where what somebody donated they got to pick what we got. And of course, they picked Nekagal number one, which is sure. OK, these are, I think, supposed to be near mint uh, back. Little scuffing. I mean, I'm not going to get too mad about that. You know, it's usually out of the pack like that. OK, that one's a little. I mean, there is quite a bit of scuffing on these. Personally, I would have these at light play to mod play just because usually if you're selling something and you got a big thing that people could notice, it's a lot more likely to have a return if you have something like that. Honestly, these are fine. I mean, they I see how they, they say near mint. They're not mint, you know, they're near mint. So this is this is fine. I mean, there's nothing big. This is from Core TCG. So uh, that that is not something I'm going to complain about. If it's like pack scuffing and they put it as near mint, it's no big deal. I personally don't just sit for like the return possibilities. And, you know, I try to keep my near mint as close to mint as possible. But uh, yeah, so those are fine. OK, this one. Oh, this one I had to open up because it just had a name on it. It didn't have their seller name. It just had like their personal name. So I don't even know who this is, to be honest. I had a I had a mess. I messaged him first that I didn't get my order. And then I was like, wait, I did get my order. It was just under a different name. It wasn't under your seller name. So I don't know who this is. I don't have it because it's not on the envelope. Also, just a reminder, uh, if you ever sell, don't use this kind of tape. It is really hard to get through. Like if you're going to use tape on the top of the top line, Loader. You can't get through it with a with a fingernail. You really want to use the scotch like soft tape so you can just go sh like really easily. I would recommend team bags personally, just so it's not like sliding up and hitting the top. If you have reverse sleeves, it shouldn't matter. But just to avoid like all that residue and it makes the top loaders kind of gross and not really. I don't like to reuse top loaders like that. So I don't know. I would just recommend team bags. They are an extra expense, though. So if you if you don't want to do that, just use the other. I mean, tape is an extra expense, too, right? So just don't buy the tape, buy something else. But don't use this really hard hard to open tape. It makes it a lot worse. OK, we I think I finally got it. I had to cut it open with the knife, which was dangerous. All right, we're going to get rid of that top loader. It's got tape all over it. OK, let's see. What does this ulti Ecclesia look like? This card was cheap, by the way. It was like $15 or something. Um, this card looks front looks good. Back is the moment of truth. Just a stamp. That looks great. So whoever this was, nice card. 
Uh, don't know who you are though, because you didn't, you only put your name and I'm not going to say your, your personal name. All right. Next up is another one that I had to message because they had their personal name on there. So this one was kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> another meme purchase, little D, uh, not just one, but a play set of little D. So yeah, no, uh, no invoice in that one either, but let's see card. I think they're supposed to be near mint. So far, TCG player sellers are stepping it up because that looks a lot better. Um, okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I take it back. Uh, that's got a big gash in it. That would be mod play for me. So unfortunate on that one. It's a little D, so it's no big deal. Let's see about this one. Yeah, some back scratching. I would have this. Usually if I have this scratching like this, I'm like between light play and mod play. I know some people don't even care about the back, but you know, when you're selling a card as like near mint, the back's part of it. So you got to count it. So, okay. So those were, I was excited on the first one. The next two were not so great. We have, okay, here we go. Zushin the Sleeping Giant. I think this is the one I, one of the ones I couldn't find earlier. And I, I never double checked if I had, it. I think this is the one. So first off we have a ghost row, oh, man. Okay. A little warped coaster. I mean, it honestly, doesn't look too bad. What's the back look like? Yeah, it's a, it's pretty nice. We just flatten it out. It's it's it was supposed to be near mint. I guess that the warping could take away, but you know you could fix it. So I just have to do a little work with it. Mystical Space Typhoon. The it probably got warped because of all these. You know, because there's a bunch of these, a bunch of these. This is another meme purchase, as you guys can tell. They're, these weren't super expensive. All these meme purchases. That one's not near mint. Yeah, just uh, the back. So that's got some scuffing on it. That's got a lot more scuffing. That's got some scuffing. That's got scuffing. That's got scuffing. Yeah, I mean, a lot of these are not near mints, which is not surprising when you buy these cheap cards. You know, they probably don't even bother to check them because they're so cheap. And yeah, I mean, they're not horrible, but they are. They are a little warped. They got some scuffing on them. But meme purchase, I'm not super worried about the condition. Okay, next item we have another envelope. No invoice again. A lot of people not using invoices. So another piece of tape that I don't like. All right, we're going to make you guys cringe and freak out a little bit. Let's see if we can cut this without cutting the card. If I can get it in there. There we go. Yeah, a little dangerous, a little dangerous. Um, okay, got it. Okay, got it open. Let's see what the condition is of the Traptrix Reflesia Ultimate Rare. Traptrix were good for us last year. Let's see if they can continue it this year by at least being in good shape. Reflesia ultimate rare the back is pretty clean actually so not bad at all this one was from gallant games so gallant games that was pretty solid condition i appreciate that all right more of the meme cards so we've got a top loader bending okay i don't really love this but it's like bending the top loader total was two dollars and 74 cents with shipping so this was probably like a 10 cent card or something like that uh, so no big deal. We got a bunch of these. Not super worried about what condition they're in, but they look okay. All right. Next up, uh, we've got, oh, this is a uh, interesting one. Let's see if this one, this is a thick envelope. What is in here? More of these. I forgot how many of these we bought. Okay. So no, there was no top loader in this envelope. There was no top loader. They probably did this because it was a $5 order and we ordered 21 cards. And if you put top loaders with this, it'd be too thick. I bet that's why they did it. More of these. So we're going to get some real cards at some point. We're getting all the meme cards out of the way. A bunch of the, the Zushin. So, uh, you know, you know who you were if you made me do this on Twitch. You guys saw it on the uh, other video this earlier this year, I guess. Was it earlier this year? Or was it ended last year? I can't remember. I think it was earlier this year. Why do some of these look way different? DRL3. Like, there's like different prints, I think, of DRL3. Probably around like when the cards were changing. But DRL3, I thought was well after that. I don't know, actually, then. It's kind of strange. Getting all kinds of packs out. All kinds of cards out. They look fine. This was from a fellow Tennessee store in Knoxville, play to win games. So that's pretty cool. Okay, this next one, uh, let's see. We got a, we got M or a uh, bubble mailer means maybe we actually got something, you know, that's not a 20 cent card. All right, let's get to the interesting stuff. All right, what do we have here? Top loaders upped, I like that. We got, oh, a play set of Brilliant Fusion in a team bag. I'm a big fan of that. Let's see if the conditions on these were nice. So here we go. Front looks good, back looks good i mean oh man i don't want to jinx it but so far so far knock on wood let's double check this card first before i say anything you know i'm just gonna check the third one before i say anything okay before i say anything let's check the third billion fusion these are ultimate rares from what is it ots6 yeah ots6 so that looks pretty good back okay i'm gonna say it now 
knock on wood. The conditions of these cards are much better than last year. People, uh, in terms of these, these sellers are doing way, way better. So because you did a good job, oh, I'm going to show this business card. This was from Mystic TCG, always buying cards. Mystic TCG, congrats uh, on selling cards that are in good shape. I am very happy about that. Okay, that's a good, that, this, is a, this is going good. This is going good. And I'm sure it'll turn around. We'll have a fiber jar with a freaking star in it or something from the card stand. Okay, let's see. We have, okay, there's our lava golem. No invoice. Um, I'm guessing this is in good condition. It's brand new, right? It's got to be in good condition. Let's see if I can get it out, though. Get it out without damaging it. Okay. Got it. Okay. Mint. Good, good condition. Game Collector ISC. That's the seller of that one. Okay, here we got... I mean, they, they stuffed a lot of cards in here, and they use the Tape of Death, which is never fun. Get the rest of these out. We have two Lightning Storms and two Evenly Matched that we got for, you know, investing purposes. These were super cheap, so we we're hoping. Even though they had seven rarities, you know, if it's like under a dollar for these staples, hopefully they will at some point be two, three bucks later on in the year. That's our hope. They'll probably reprint them 50 times again, but we'll see. So uh, there we go. Those look pretty decent. So shout out to Gambit Gaming for those. Very nice. Man, we have done pretty good so far. I don't know if there's, the investment's going to be good, but the cards have been pretty good. There's a DPE. We got a DPE from Bode. Original Secret. This thing, I think, I feel like this thing was like three bucks or something stupid like that. Okay, well packaged. I love this. I love to see this. Oh, they use tape anyway. Why use tape with the card, with the, the card or the team bag? I don't get it. And it's a giant piece all the way across. Double sleeve team bag. That's the way to do it. Okay, this is also double. No, it's single sleeve. So that with the tape is a little dangerous because, uh, you know, it could slide up, slide out the sleeve. That looks pretty clean. I think that is solid. So beautiful secret from Bode. I think it was Futures Card Shop did that one. Continuing, continuing our very solid, solid, I won't say luck. Luck's not the right word, but it's gone pretty well. Okay, we got reasonings. These are in, okay, and they're in a... They're in a card saver with one sleeve. That is not amazing. Um, we have three reasoning. They're very cheap cards though, so that's probably why. Uh, this might have gotten scratched up from that though. Maybe that's just print lines or something. That looks like it's scratched all the way across that edge. That's kind of weird. Maybe it slid out and slid back. I don't know. Or maybe it just was had a weird print error. Okay, we are getting close. By the way, we still have uh, some really, the biggest card that we bought has not been opened yet, so. I'm excited about that one. It's a card that I've I've owned, but never in good condition. So I'm hoping it's in good condition. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Heavy heavy storm on limb. Okay. I feel like this was like five bucks. It wasn't nothing. Condition is decent. Definitely has some scratching on it. I don't have it at light play, but not terrible. Not terrible. Original heavy storm, by the way. Magic card. So cool stuff. Okay, here's a cool one. We still have several packages left. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I know it might be a little bit longer than some of the others, but we have been doing a lot of long videos. So this might just be normal at this point. Okay, we have, oh, never mind. It's not what I thought it was. We got two of these, I guess, from two different sellers. So you're like, if you're going to use tape, yeah, tape that closed. I mean, you don't even need to, but that's a little better. So now you can just go in here, grab that QCR Lava Golem, that sweet QCR. Very nice. Beautiful condition. I think it was Metamorphic Gaming did that one. That looked good. Okay, well, this has like a mini, tiny mini invoice. What the? One Piece cards in here? Okay, so there's a, a bunch of One Piece cards. This is supposed to be the biggest card, so I'm hoping this was just packaging or something. There's a mini invoice right there, so we're just gonna get rid of that. Okay, so I think this is the card. So these One Piece cards are in here, the Japanese One Piece, that's strange. This is the biggest card we bought. Hopefully it's in good shape. Judgment Dragon, first edition, near mint from Light of Destruction. Do we have a hair in there? Is that a hair? Okay, yeah, definitely a hair in there. Let's. Get that off. Okay. Judgment Dragon. Okay, come on. We're gonna be a little, we're gonna be a little more serious about this condition. I mean, this is a first deadline destruction card. Okay, secret rare judgment dragon. Beautiful on the front. Looks really good. I don't see anything. Uh oh, is that bent? Oh no, the card's bent. The card's bent. The card is bent. You can see it. Oh, the card is bent. That is, yep, not near mint. Of course, the first big major one has a little scuffing too. I would have this personally at at least mod play, but with a bin that goes all the way through the card, all the way down, that's probably heavy play. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to figure that one out. Uh, maybe return that one, and I don't even know if we'll be able to get one though. Another one though, that sucks, unfortunately. 
which it has been two months, so hopefully I can still return it. But uh, yeah, that sucks. The one big card. Okay, bummer, big bummer. It was going so well. It turned around in an instant. Okay, uh, this one. Oh, do we get more of these? Apparently we went ham on Brilliant Fusion. We might have bought six of these. Okay, here's the nice tape. You can just kind of slice through there with your finger now. Is there three ultimate rares in one top loader? Okay, this is not something I would recommend. Three ultimate rares in one top loader, all in the same sleeve. Not recommended. Not recommended. I, most I would put is two. Two fits well. Three is, is pushing it. Brilliant Fusion. That one looks good, so I think we're good there. Second one. Got a little line through the middle, but that's just print, I think. Second one, and then third one. Looks good. So they are in good condition. I don't like the packaging necessarily, but the condition is good. So Brilliant Fusions, we got six of them apparently. They came out okay. Still a few items left. I'm trying to remember what our other ones we had were. I'm sure there's something else awesome. Let's see. We have a Mecha Phantom Beast Draco sack with the tape of death at the top. So let's get this out. We have Mecha Phantom Beast Draco sack from Lord of Tachyon Galaxy. First edition, secret rare, front looks good. This card was very cheap, actually. Maybe a few scratches on the back, but it's not bad. It's not bad. We're getting close to the end at this point. Oh, this one's kind of in like a weird solid envelope. I kind of like it. Another Lava Golem. I guess we got a play set of these. I'm guessing that's what happened with those. So Lava Golem QCR. I mean, it's a QCR. It's very new. It should probably be fine. Yep, it is. We've got another. We got TCG player direct working here. So, oh, this is a big card. It's the one I forgot about. This is our Starlight Rare we bought, the Lin of the Light Charmer. I think this is about 400 bucks, which is dangerous because, you know, they might reprint it in Rarity Collection. I have 17 rarities uh, and it'd be like, you know, 100 bucks later. Let's see. I don't remember why we picked this one. Well, we decided to pick it because I mean, the Charmers most likely I think is why. Card looks really nice. So TCG player direct shipped from for somebody else, but well done, guys. OK, I think we're down to three more items. We're almost done. This one, we're not even going to worry about condition necessarily. We got a bunch of Barons, just new Rarity Collection Barons. I expect those are going to be in nice shape because they're brand new. We've got another envelope and then a box, which is, you know, it's going to be a booster box. So it's not going to be like condition check or anything like that. More memes to end it. We have more of this guy, which, you know, we've already settled. We don't we're not super worried about the guy. And then the last box here is just a box. It's a box in a box. So open it up, show you guys. I am so disappointed about the Judgment Dragon being the only card that actually was not in good shape. Like, of course, of course it is. So we bought a 25th anniversary LOB box because they are pretty cheap right now for what I think they could be if they don't reprint them again, which, you know, they definitely could. So, wow, a lot of good stuff in here. Uh, I'm super sad about the Judgment. I'm going to have to contact the seller about that. But thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. Uh, in about less than a month, we're going to be updating how this investment is doing at the end of March. So keep an eye out for that and keep an eye out for some more awesome openings. Shout out to Tone Info Show, Puffin Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Side Show, Ian Booster, Junior Barning, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Cheng Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.